Morning, everyone. It's not Abby. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's not Abby. I apologise. Abby's unwell this morning, so you stuck with uh, you stuck with Mossy, unfortunately. Um, no, Abby's uh, Abby's not available, so I'll take this morning's hoop spit as designed by the wonderful Abby. So it'll be nearly as good, not quite, but it'll be nearly as good, hopefully. So uh, thank you uh, to all of you for tuning in. Uh, Hoops Fit has been really great, obviously um, led by Cassie and, and Abby, um, who you guys all know and love. So they've done a terrific job over the four weeks and we'll continue with this program. Um, a, lot of, a lot of fitness sort of jumping around and, and sort of cardio, almost like a cardio sort of a workout, but we include some basketball in that. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, I've, I've managed to sort of look in and watch a couple of the sessions and it looks like you guys have really enjoyed it and those two have done a phenomenal job, which is no surprise. So <clears throat> we'll get started here in just a second. Um, your equipment for the day that you'll need will basically just be your body, basketball, uh, probably best to have a yoga mat down somewhere if you're uh, on a hard surface like concrete or bricks outside or tiles or wood floors inside, um, because there is a few things that we do where we're, we're getting down onto the ground. Uh, obviously, as always, when we're dribbling the basketball, make sure you've got enough space. Uh, if you're inside, be careful that there's not too much stuff around that you can break. So, <clears throat> all right, we'll make a start. We're going to do our warm up. For our warm up, you won't need your basketball or anything. It's just all body weight stuff. Uh, we're going to do each exercise for about 30 seconds, uh, and then we're going to get into our dribbling and our ball handling workout. All right, so our first exercise is uh, high knees. Uh, sorry, yeah, high knees. Uh, we'll do just a quick jog on the spot first. So we're just jogging on the spot. After 30 seconds, we're going to move to high knees, okay? So 30 seconds jogging on the spot, high knees, then butt kicks. So everyone up. So we're going to get the, uh, get the blood moving a little bit this morning. <clears throat> hope everyone's having a great weekend. I hope everyone got outside and made use of the sun yesterday. It was a beautiful day. So those of you that have outdoor hoops and set up, I hope you're out getting lots of shots up, enjoying the sun, helping mum and dad in the garden. Let's go to high knees now. So we're driving our knees up a little bit, get that arm, get that arm action going. So from the side, swinging our arms, that helps propel our knees up. I apologize if my dog tries to attack me at some point here. She doesn't quite understand what I'm doing when I do these zooms. It's a bit easier to lock her out when we're inside. Those, I can see a few of you have just joined us. Obviously not Abby this morning. Abby's unavailable, so I apologize, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay, and butt kick for 30 seconds. So now we're just kicking our heels up behind us, getting that movement in our uh, quads. Staying on the balls of your feet. Heart rate up, blood flowing. Great job, guys. Okay, quick breather, quick breather. So make sure you've got a drink bottle nearby. These are a good opportunity to, uh, to have a break and have a quick drink when I stop in between exercises. Uh, so for our next, we've got walking lunges, squats, calf raises, and then our walkout. Okay, so we'll start with the walking lunges. I'm gonna do these. So I'm gonna do these walking towards the camera. So you wanna try and get uh, five on each leg. Okay, so I'm gonna step out and come down. Out with my left foot and come down. You guys can add a twist if you like, just for something a little bit extra. So step out and rotate through the torso. Step out, rotate through the torso. And then I'm going to go backwards. Now I'm going to do something different. I don't know if Abby does, does it like this, but I'm going to give this a go. So we're going to do reverse lunges now. Okay, so now we're going, to, we're going to step backwards. And a little twist. Step backwards. Little twist. I like a reverse lunge. I like a forward lunge as well. They both do different things. So a reverse lunge is really good. Keeps us nice and upright. Keeps our shin nice and straight. But a forward lunge is really good because it gives us some knees over the toes action. Uh, we might do one more, one more of those. So I'm going to go one more towards the camera. You can also go with your arms up overhead. 
for a little bit of activation, a little bit of like basketball specific, like a defensive sort of a activating our shoulders and our arms just to make things a little bit tougher. Welcome to those that are just joining us here on a Sunday morning. Again, as I mentioned, not Abby today, unfortunately. Abby's unavailable. I'm going to fill in and try and do my best. Abby's designed this session, so it'll be nearly as good as if she was here. <laughs> and last one. All right, now we're going to do some squats. So body weight squats. Oh, a lot of familiar faces in this morning session that do my sessions as well. We're getting pretty good at body weight squats, I reckon. So, again, we're just sitting our bum back. We're going to do, let's do 20. Okay, because we're trying to, we're really trying to warm things up now. Let's do 20. Again, your tempo, your tempo, the speed with which you do these is really important. So go a couple of seconds down. One, two, push up explosively. One, two, push up as quickly as you can. One, two, push up. One, two, push up. Good. I like to use my hands as a counterbalance because I don't have great depth on my squat. Having my arms out in front helps me get a little bit more depth. Once you've done 20, grab a drink. We've got calf raises and walkouts. I think a walkout is an inchworm. I call it an inchworm, but a walkout with our hands. Same sort of thing, like a core, core and hamstring exercise. Whew. Okay. Calf raises. Once you've done your squats, take your time, no rush. Get my timer ready for our ball handling. So calf raises. Let's do. Uh, I'm gonna. I've got something to hold on to. If you don't have something to hold on to, just go two feet at once. I'm gonna go one leg at a time. Just something a bit different today. And I'm gonna go right leg first. I'm gonna do 20 on each leg. Here we go. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Good job, guys. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty on each side. Eleven, twelve. Up as high as you can go off on your tippy toes. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. I'm going to do twenty on my left now. Again, if you can control it, if you're doing it on two legs, it should be a bit easier. But if you're on one leg, try and come down as slowly as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Twenty, good, excellent. All right, Whew. good job. Keep going, girls. Good work there, Cody. You got you got both sisters with you today. That's good. Got the whole gang. Got a good crew today. Excellent. Great numbers, guys. Way to see. I, I love seeing so many of you tuning in on a Sunday morning. Fantastic. Okay, so whoa, there's Luna. All right, we've got. We're going to get our basketball, get our ball handling to start with. So each exercise is going to be 30 seconds on each hand. So we've got some pound dribbles, okay? And we can, we can add like a rocket dribble, okay, or a hesitation dribble. So I'll show you how you do, how you do each of those. But for, for starters, we're going to do pound dribbles, and I'll give you the option to, to mix it up. Um, we've got some finger taps, some crossovers, in and out cross, um, onside cross, um, uh, gallop cross and then uh, behind the back without moving our feet. So got a fair bit to fit in. Okay, 30 seconds on each hand. We're going to start with our pound. All right. Get, grab your basketball, get ready to go. Make sure you've got plenty of space. We're not going to take too many breaks in this. So we're going to get our heart rate up. We're working nice and hard. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. I'm starting right hand. Here we go. Eyes up. You want to add a hesitation, okay? It's just a, just a little hesitation, okay? You're not getting your hand under the ball. We're just bringing it up. You might bring your hand across as if you're about to pick up and go into that jump shot. Still pounding the ball. 
three, two, one. Left hand now. Okay, left hand is pound, pound dribble. Left hand, or you can go with the hesitation again. Make sure the ball stays on the side. Uh, sorry, your hand stays on the side of the ball. We're not going under the ball like that. That's a carry or a travel. We want to just little hezzy. Little hezzy. So I might go pound, pound, hezzy, pound, pound, hezzy, hezzy. Eyes up the whole time, okay? Good. And rest. Okay. Next one we've got. We've got our fingertips, all right? Finger taps. So, ball in our fingers, and we're just working on getting that tap nice and quick. Let's get the ball between our fingers. Woo! Challenge yourself. Okay, this is great for getting that feeling of the basketball again. Little finger taps up nice and, woo, up nice and high. Ah, up nice and high. Arms straight up. Come back down in front of your face. Come down a little bit lower. Good. Good job. Excellent. Let's keep going. Finger taps back and forth. Just, just right on your fingertips. Back and forth. Let's go down nice and low. These are a bit different. These are a little bit like we're crossing it over. So we're going back and forth. It's a bit harder. You've almost got to tap it up. A bit different. Come back up. Great job. All right. Next exercise. Whew. All right, we've got crossovers. We're going to go crossovers for 30 seconds. Crossovers for 30 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Crossover. I like to add a pound dribble. Up to you guys if you want to add a pound dribble. Boom, boom. Cross it over. Low and sharp. Good job. Or you can just go crossover. If you just want to go rocker, just rock it right across. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to add a pound dribble. Good job. Keep working. Three, two, one. Awesome. Okay. Next one we've got is in and out. We're going 30 seconds on each hand. In and out. So when we do the in and out, really important to remember the ball rolls, the hand rolls over the top of the ball. So if I'm doing it with my right hand, my hand comes over the top and comes onto the left side of the ball and sweeps it back across to the right. When I teach an in and out, and now I don't know if I'm doing the wrong thing here, but I like to teach it that we, the in and out is not just with the ball, okay? So we can do it nice and quick with the ball where our body like this, okay? Let's do 30 seconds like that. So 30 seconds where it's just the ball and we're just getting that hand movement, okay? And then we're going to do another 30 seconds after that where we move our whole body. And it's almost like a jab set, all right? So we're going to get our body moving. So first one, just our hands. Three, two, one, just nice and tight. Here we go, nice and tight. In and out, in and out, in and out. Good job. In and out, no body just yet. We're not getting our shoulders and hips really involved. We're just working on that. We're just working on that handle. Keeping that handle nice and tight. Good job, good job. Stay low, stay down in the stance. Okay, I don't want to see you guys standing too upright. Okay, left hand, left hand, here we go. Left hand, keep it nice and tight. Again, sitting down in that athletic stance. Sitting down, so we're here. Knees bent, hips bent. Again, we're still wrapping our hand over the ball. And pushing it back to our left. Oop, that's the handle. Good job. Three, two, one. Okay. Now what we're going to do before we go to our in and out cross, we're going to add our hips and shoulders in. So what I mean by that is we're going to start to add our footwork in. So we're starting to think about where our feet are pointing, where our hips are pointing, because that's what the defenders are trained to watch. Okay, the defender, if I'm down the stance and I'm watching someone that has a really good handle and wants to go by me off the dribble, I'm watching their hips. Okay, I'm not watching the ball. I might watch their shoulders, but I'm probably watching their hips. Okay, so if we know that now, when we're handling the ball and we know, we know that our defender's gonna be watching our hips and trying, trying to pick where we're gonna go 
based on our hips. Well, when we're doing ball handling, now we need to think about that and we need to fake where we're gonna go with our hips, okay? So that's what we're gonna build in here. How in and out now, we're gonna actually turn our hips. So instead of just being down in this athletic stance here facing the camera, we're actually gonna turn our toes to the left, okay? So I've got my right, I know it looks like my left hand, but I've got my right in and out, in and out here. And so I'm gonna actually turn my, I'm gonna turn my hips and almost drop my knee and drop my knee. So I'm turning my hips and shoulders and almost dropping my knee as if I'm going, as if I'm going to my left. So if a defender's watching my hips, thinking, right, I know exactly where this guy's gonna go. <laughs> Hello. I'm gonna turn my knees and my hips and shoulders as if I'm going left, and then I'm gonna bring it back to my right. Okay, and sort of lift my right foot and take off. So we're gonna work on that now. So always come back to square, okay? So always come back to square. Don't just stay, don't just stay facing to your left. I want you to actually come back to square turn your feet, come back to square. You can add a pound dribble in between, turn your feet back to square, pound dribble, and we're going with our hip. You can even drop that shoulder down as if you're about to take off. 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Turn your hips and shoulders. Turn your hips and shoulders. Turn your hips and shoulders. I'm going, I'm going to my left here. It's almost like you're going into a lunge, but with the dribble. So we just worked on lunges. Now we're almost going into a lunge with a dribble. I'll step back. Here we go. 10 more seconds. Turn your feet. Turn your feet. Think about blowing by your defender on that right side. Okay, left hand now, left hand. Now we're going. Now we're gonna turn our hips and shoulders to our right and bring the ball back as if we wanna to go to our left. Turn hips and shoulders so we go from we go from square with the camera to pointing to the side like this, boom, and back, all the way back. All right, here we go, it's a little bit of hard work. 30 seconds, three, two, one, go. Hips and shoulders, pound dribble in between, hips and shoulders, hips and shoulders. Ooh, it's almost like a jab step, it's almost like a jab step, but with the dribble. Handle's gotta stay tight. Good job. Keep working. Turn your feet. Turn both feet. Come up onto the ball of that back foot. I'm shuffling forward so you can't see my feet. Here we go. Ooh, whoop, fumble. That's good, we want some fumbles. Good job, keep going. Five seconds. Five seconds, I've got two more. Boom, boom, and rest. Good job. Grab a quick drink. Quick drink, we've got about three more ball handling exercises to do. Whew. That was hard work. All right. All right. So we're gonna go. Okay, so we're gonna go in uh, onside cross, gallop cross, and behind the back. Those are our last three ball handling. And then we're gonna do a little bit more of our fitness and line hop. All right, so keep the basketball around, grab a quick drink. So onside crossover. I'm not sure exactly, I'm not sure exactly what Abby means by that, but I'm thinking she means with the one hand. So we just keep the ball in our right hand and we're crossing across, but we're keeping it in our right hand. So this is a good one to get as many as we can in. Okay, we should be able to get a heap in here. All right, so you can mix it up between really long onside cross, so bringing the ball right across, Okay, and you can mix it up between little sharp ones. Oh, sorry, Luna, hit my dog with the ball. Okay, so you can mix it up with little sharp ones, so down nice and low, sharp, sharp, sharp. All right, we'll do 15 seconds of that, and then we can go 15 seconds nice and long. Boom, so bringing it not, out nice and wide, almost past my, past my left knee there. That's just gonna challenge our handle, okay? Here we go, 30, uh, 30 seconds on the right hand, First 15 is gonna be nice and tight ones. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go, little tight ones. Get as many as you can in. Cross it over. Good job. Nice and tight. So again, we're wrapping that hand over the top of the ball, almost like you're in and out, but we're adding a dribble. Good job, stay low. Okay, let's get some length now. So let's stretch it out. So 
the onside, but we're stretching the ball out almost to our left knee. I've got my protective hand up. I've still got my guard hand. Head up. Eyes are on the camera. Keep working, guys. Good job. And again, my shoulder's coming across. All these little things. These little, ooh, I lost my foot. Little attention to detail. Let's go left hand. Tight, tight cross with the left hand. The little tight ones. Get as many as you can with your left hand. Little tight dribbles. Left hand. Oh, good job. Boom, 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 boom. Let's hear that sound. Let's get it moving as quick as we can. Good job. Couple more. And now we're going long. So go along across your body. Again, almost like an in and out. Guard hand up, Gareth. I forgot. Get that guard hand up. Always keep that off hand active. Off hands active. Keep working, keep working. Get down in the stand. Don't come out of your stand. I know it's hard work. Your legs are probably burning a bit now. Three, two, one. Good job. Stand up straight. Give your body a bit quick rest. Whew. Okay, we've got uh, next. Straight into our gallop cross. Okay, so a bit of footwork now with that and the behind the back. So our gallop cross, again, is we're shuffling our feet. So for those that are new, those of you guys that have been doing Abby's session, I'm guessing you know how to do these. We essentially, we're making a crossover, but we're shuffling that, we're like dragging that right foot across. So if we go right hand to left hand, I'm gonna push off my right foot. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna almost like, a, it's almost like an icky shuffle where we, we step and step again, okay? It's almost like the icky shuffle that we do in the ladder where we drop, we go left foot, right foot, left foot, but we're adding that dribble, okay? So it's almost like a rocker step, but it's, it's that drag crossover, okay? So we're crossing from right, you're gonna push left foot out, then you're gonna hop that left foot again and drag that right foot all in one motion okay then we're going to go back so we're going to go side to side so left foot you'll push you'll push off your left foot hop off your right foot and come back across so it's almost like if we were defensive sliding okay but we're hopping in the air we're just adding a little hop and we're dragging that trail foot so if i'm going from my right to my left i'm, I'm sliding that right foot if i'm going from my left to my right i'm sliding that left foot okay but we're adding the dribble motion in all right, here we go for 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Slide, slide, slide. Again, don't put your hand under the basketball. Just keep it up like a hesitation. Good, pushing off, getting down nice and low. Side to side, good job, guys. It's like a crossover, but we, carry, we cover about double the distance. Good job, get that footwork in, get those two little shuffles in. Get those two little shuffles in. That footwork's really important. Watch out, Luna. Luna's gonna get crossed up here in a second. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Luna wants to smoke. Here we go, Luna. Uh-oh, now she's biting me. I'm in trouble now. Keep going, three seconds. Two, one. Woo. Good job. Now we're gonna add the behind the back. Oh, Luna. We're gonna add the behind the back move. So, same thing. You don't have to cover as much distance. Calm down, Luna. You don't have to cover as much distance. <laughs> but we're gonna go behind the back, okay? <laughs> I've got a defender here. <laughs> I've got a defender here, so it's gonna make it hard. You like to bite my Achilles. <laughs> okay, here we go. So same thing, 30 seconds behind the back. So again, oh, so we cross, we cross, but we slide. Cross and we slide. Cross is all Luna. Good steal. The other way. Okay, here we go. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. You guys go. I'm going to wait till Luna comes down. All right, here we go. Cross and fly. Cross and fly. Cross and fly. Cross and fly. Good job. It's hard work, this one. Stay down low. Get that full work. Get in a nice rhythm. Good. So we're moving our feet, Zach. 
Moving our feet across, just like the last one. Moving our feet, moving our feet. Shuffle your feet, shuffle your feet across. Left to right, right to left. Here we go, here we go. Stay down low, five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Excellent work, guys. Grab a drink. Grab a drink. We're done with our ball handling. Grab a drink and we're into our uh, little fitness exercise to finish off. Ooh. So we've got some line hops. So you'll need a line, whether you've got to create that line with a skipping rope, um, whether you've got to create that line with a skipping rope, or whether you've got a line in your concrete. I've got a line, I might use a skipping rope so that I can step back and you guys can see if Luna stops biting me. Uh, so here's my line here with my skipping rope. Don't chew it please Luna. No, 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 relax bro. All right, so grab a drink. You're gonna need your energy for this last bit. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Oh my goodness, oh, Abby must be so fit. Wow, Woo. okay. Forward and back line hops. Here we go, forward and back line hops. Sideways and then alternating feet. So 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Two feet at a time. So all of this is two feet to start with. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go, forward and back. Forward and back, getting your feet moving. Getting your feet moving, there we go. Feet moving, forward and back. Forward and back, stay on the balls of your feet. Good job, guys. Good job. Balls of your feet, 30 seconds. We're 15 down. Balls of your feet, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Luna's looking like she wants to attack me. Hopefully she doesn't. Here we go. Three, two, one, rest. Now we're side to side. We've got 10 seconds rest. Uh-oh. Here we go, three, two, one, side to side. Here we go, watch out Luna. Side to side now, so a bit of lateral movement. Get out Luna, where are you? Stop biting me. Here we go, side to side. 15 down, keep working. Balls of our feet, 10 seconds to go. Good work guys, nice and quick. Three, two, one, rest for 10. Next one is alternating. So we start with one foot over, one foot behind, and we're scissoring our legs like that. <laughs> Three, two, one, here we go. Watch out, Luna. <laughs> scissoring now, as quick as you can. There you go, good job, get that heart rate up. Good guys, get that heart rate up. Get those arms moving as well. Woo, woo. There we go. Woo. Good job. Working hard now. Oh dear. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, good job. Quick break. Really quick break. Quick drink. Oh, right, look at the next exercise. Oh, single line hop. Single leg line hops, oh no. Well, hey, that's gonna burn. That is going to burn. So right leg, left leg. So we're hopping forward and back. Oh, how are we going for time? I've got a little bit of time. So we're going forward and back on the right leg first. Forward and back on the right leg. Forward and back on the left leg. What I'm gonna do, just to, just to make this go a little bit quicker and seem a little bit easier, it's probably not really easier, is at 15 seconds, so we're gonna go forward and back on our right leg for 15, then at 15 we're gonna swap side to side on our right leg, okay? So we get a bit of lateral, we get a little bit, a little bit of forward and back, okay? Everyone ready to go? So we're forward and back for 15, start on our right leg, then we're gonna swap to side to side. Here we go, three, Two, one, here we go, forward and back, single leg. Just hopping on that right leg. Get that left leg up off the ground. 
Here we go. Clear that line. It's going to be hard work. Here we go. Keep working. Should have a real good sweat up now. Heart rate up. Five seconds left on the forward and back. Two, one. Let's go side to side. Swap straight into it if you can. Side to side for 15. Keep a nice soft knee. Five seconds. Keep working. Three, two, one. 10 seconds rest. And we go on left leg. 10 seconds rest and we go on left leg. Forward and back. Three, two, one. Forward and back on the left. Here we go. Here we go. Forward and back on the left. Good job, good job, good job. Good job, guys. Forward and back on the left for 15. Here we go. And swap. Side to side. Side to side for 15. Oh, good job. Keep working. Three. Oh, two, oh, one. Good job. Oh, wow, we. Quick breather. Quick breather. We've got pogo hops to finish off. Pogo hops. So we're really getting some reps into our lower body here. This is fantastic. Oh, fantastic. We don't need our rope or our line anymore. Straight into pogo hops. Makes me think of Cocoa Pop. Makes me hungry. Pogo Hops, Cocoa Pop sounds very similar. Not a great nutritious breakfast though, so don't take that as an endorsement. Okay, 30 seconds, Pogo Hops. So with the Pogo Hops, the difference is when we're doing our line hops, we're really not trying to get that far off the ground. We're trying to really shuffle our feet, move our feet quickly, okay? With our Pogo Hops, it's not quite a squat jump where we go all the way down. We're keeping a, a, a gentle bend in our knees and a gentle bend in our hips. And we're just trying to get as high as we can just with that movement in our ankles and our calves. So we're really boing, 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 boing. We're really trying to get up as high as we can, but we're not coming down into that full squat and exploding back up. So this is a great exercise for that reactive strength in our ankles and our Achilles and our calf muscles. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of those. And then we'll probably finish up with a bit of a stretch. Okay, here we go. Let's finish off strong. Three, two, one. Pogos, here we go. Get up as high as you can. If you've got something you can touch, I've got a bar up here, you guys can't see it. So reach up, try and tap something. Good job. Keep working here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Pogo hop, bouncing as high as you can. 10 seconds, let's go. Keep working. Get that reactive force development. We're going to spend less time on the ground. Explode up. Three, two, one. Huh. Great job, guys. Well done. Awesome session. Huh. Let's stretch it out a little bit. Stretch it out a little bit. So first off, we didn't do our walkouts before. Like my favorite, one of my favorite exercises. We're going to do the walkout. We can do it as a warm down as well. This is a really good hamstring exercise. Let me just grab my yoga mat here. Really, really good hamstring stretch. And it's just going to slow our heart rate down a little bit the way that I, I sort of do them. So get your yoga mat. Okay. We're going to come down and try and touch our toes almost like a hamstring stretch. Come down, touch your toes. Feel that stretch in your hamstring for a second. If you can't touch your toes, if you can only get to your shins, that's okay. Bend your knees now and get your hands to the ground. Bend your knees, get your hands to the ground and walk your hands out into the top of a push-up. Out into the top of a push-up. Okay, then from here, I want you to bring your hips down to the, to the ground, but keep your arms straight. So we're stretching out our abdominals and our lower back a little bit. Okay, from here, keep your knees on the ground and you're gonna sit your lower back back like this. So this is actually a bit of a yoga move. Oh, so push back, keep your arms straight and sit your butt back, try and get your butt back to your heels or in between your heels and stretch out your lower back a little bit. Okay, then we, then we come back up to the top of the push-up. 
and we creep our toes in. So try and keep your legs straight for as long as you can. Try and keep your legs straight. If you have to come up on your fingertips to create a bit of extra space, that's okay. Keep your legs straight and you should feel that stretch in your hamstring again. Then stand up straight. Okay, that's one. We're gonna do three of those. That's gonna be our warm down. We're gonna do three of those. So watching me again, I'm at the other end of my mat. I come down and touch my toes if I can. If I can't touch my toes, that's fine. Now I bend my knees to get my hands to the ground, walking my hands out in front of me into the top of a push-up. Hold there for a second. I bring my hips down. Okay, and I've got my knees and hips. I'm pushing my hips into the ground. I'm stretching out the front of my body and looking up. Deep breathing. From there, I keep my knees down. I might, I might move them out a little bit wider to the edge of my mat. And I push my, push my hands into the mat and push my hips back to my heels. Okay? Oh. Uh, and up into a push-up again. And again, I, I start to tippy-toe my toes, almost like a downward dog position. I tippy-toe, 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 all the way up to my hands. Feel that hamstring stretch again. Stand up and turn around. We're going to do one more. One more and then we're done for today. Whew. Okay. Down to touch my toes. Stretch my hammies out a little bit. Now I want to get my hands to the ground. Hands down. Walk my hands out. Luna's going to bite me here for sure. Oh no. What do you want, Luna? Okay, I'm in my push-up. Top of my push-up. I bring my hips down. This is how Luna stretches in the morning. I bring my hips down and I've got my chest up and I'm looking at the sky. Deep breath. And I'm going to push back into this hip, into this lower back stretch here, trying to get my trying to get my butt between my heels, using my hands and my upper body active to push my hips and my lower back back. And then up to my push up, last one. Tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe, into like a downward dog hamstring stretch again. And we're done. That should be enough to slow our heart rate down. If you want to do, you want to do some quad stretches or you want to get to a wall somewhere and do a, do a quick calf stretch. We did a lot of pogo hops and single leg hops, so stretch your calves out. If you've got your foam roller, get on the foam roller for your calves. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much. You can see how sweaty I am. Ooh, gross. Thank you very much. Thank you to Abby for running this session for the last four weeks. Just a heads up. Guys, there's no, there's no blues from home stuff this week. Just Monday, just Monday to Friday, okay? We're taking a break. So you guys take a bit of a break. Keep doing any sessions you're doing with your teams and things like that. But we're just taking a break from our schedule because we've finished four weeks. Yeah. And then we're going to be back the week after with some new stuff as well. We've been planning some new stuff. So we're going to be back, back the week after. But I can tell you uh, the hoop fit, uh, Get Up and Go, Building a Better Athlete, uh, and our Train With Me, and we're adding another Train With Me that's a girls only Train With Me with some of our senior NBL1 players, including some of the girls that are interstate, okay? Some of the girls that are playing WNBL interstate. So stay tuned for that one. Um, have a great week, and uh, I'll see you all in a week's time, hopefully, on the Sunday again with Abby or myself. To see. see Thanks, you guys. Chad. Thank you, Jared. Bye. Thanks, Jared. Bye. Thank you, Jared. Oh, thanks, Jared. Thank you. See you guys. Bye. See you guys. Good work. Hey. Good job. No worries, Talia. Good girl. Good job. See you, Peyton. See you guys. Thank you. <laughs> see you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Peyton. Good boy. See you later.